We got two more. The Purdue Boilermakers, six and seven in 2018, five and four in the conference. Returning starters, they got four on offense, nine on defense. Experience wise, number 126 in the country. That is fourth from last. Is that right? Fourth? Yeah. Yeah, if it's 126, yes. Number 14 in the conference. Jeff Brom, 13 and 13 in two years. Turned down Louisville, signed a seven-year, $36.8 million contract to stay at Purdue. So glad he stayed. Yeah, I think it makes uh, I think it makes college football better. He's building yeah. something at a school that you just don't expect to be a football school. Well, it's, uh, you know, since Tiller was there, really. Yeah, I mean, it's like been it, a- it, I mean, remember, they had, like, Drew Brees and, and all this That's different right. stuff. They, they had the high-flying offense going. Purdue used to make bowl games regularly. I think... I think things are better. Like, life just feels better whenever they're actually pretty good. Right? right. So, they've got the number 29 total offense returning, number 11 passing offense, but they lose quarterback David Blau. They return quarterback Elijah Sindelar, and more importantly, wide receiver Rondell Moore. That's I was just about to say. Uh, he had 2,215 all-purpose yards. Woo. Last year was an All-American. Is that a lot? That seems like that a lot. That seems like a lot. That's a, <laughs> that's a lot like of a miles. Lot. Number 113 total defense, number 128 passing defense. So that is quite the disparity, or just, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Just division between offense and defense, Yeah, whatever. Right? Uh, yeah. There's a disparity there. How's that? Front sure. seven should be a strength after lacking last season. Defensive end, uh, George Kalaftis, number 71, I think, player in the country. In the last recruiting cycle, he decided to stay home. He's a top 75 recruit. Um, but him actually coming in to this team. Getting like this the top a, 100 kid to this come This is to a Purdue? top 25 recruiting class for this, yeah. this much. Uh, the first two years, they relied a lot on experienced upperclassmen. They are it, Here's the deal with this team, right? And it's still the same right now as it was a couple of years ago. They are talented enough at the top to be able to hang with just about anybody and they are not deep enough to avoid slip ups. That's it. Right. Um, I think they will beat teams or they should not beat like yeah. when they beat the hell yeah. out of Ohio, Ohio State, State. But then they will turn around and they will lose to an Indiana or something of that nature. Yeah. Yeah. So and that's kind of what I see happening this season. I've got Purdue at six and six. I think next year, like once they've got more experience, more Maybe More, another recruiting class. Yeah, this recruiting another recruiting class, class. Gets a year older. Yeah. yeah. Uh, once we get another one like that, then I think you really see it start to kick up to eight wins a year, or something like that. But I, I think Brom scares the absolute crap out of everybody. He should. Uh, I've got him at six and six this year. I've got him seven and five. I've got him a game better. I I like this team. I like the direction they're going in, and I was ecstatic when he decided to stay. Yeah. Because the Big Ten is a lot of fun. One of the reasons the Big Ten is being left out of the championship every year, the playoff the last couple of years, is because they kind of cannibalize themselves. Yeah. It, it is a it is a deep, tough conference. They've proven that in bowl seasons the last couple of years. And, and I think, like I said, there were these cupcake teams for a while that are just getting better. Yeah. I agree. So six and six. Their over under, by the way, is seven, and it's minus one ten on both sides. So six and six, seven and Ooh. five. You know, so you'd have to hit eight wins to win it. Yeah, and I, I don't see that happening. That's a little steep. So I, I think I'd love playing, to see it though. It wouldn't hurt my feelings if I saw that. I think playing the under there would probably be the smartest way. And we'll close up.